guys, today we are gonna address the eight things I've been asked mostly during my time here in America. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna call this segment the silly questions Americans ask. From now on, after watching this, uh, just don't do it. But do subscribe to my YouTube channel and do click the bell and do share and do like and do comment. All right, let's get into it. So the first question here is, so what is your name? And after I tell them my name, like my name is Speedway, uh, they're like, oh, how do you say that? Oh, I won't remember that. Like, really? Nice. Of course you can say it. It's Speedway, Speedway. And I, I've been here so many years and trust me, I always have to teach people how to pronounce my name. And it now it's just second nature. Now it's like, but yeah. That is actually my name. So most of them ask, Do they, does he have a shortcut? What, what other way can we say it? And it's like, okay. <laughs> no, it's Speedway. Speedway. Well, then they're so honest. Like, I won't remember that. Like, okay. J. <laughs> um, so other people like coming up to you, right? Like, oh, you have an accent. I say, yeah. Uh, and they're like, well, so you're from Africa? I'm like, yes. So speak some African. Like, uh, no, there's not such a thing like African. There's, there's no such language like African. Like, are you for real? No, uh, no. <laughs> there's no such a thing as African. Guys, um, yeah, Africa is a continent. It, it's, it's, there's no such thing as an African language. Like, no, uh-uh. Don't do that. <laughs> How did you get to America? <gasps> You're from Africa? So how did you get here? Uh, yeah, I drove to the airport and I got on a plane and I got here on a plane. Like, what kind of question is that? Like, okay, what? No, I walked. I literally ran from Africa, like trekked, you know? <laughs> All the way from Africa. Like, I kid you not. Like, recently somebody at work asked me the same question. I'm like, really? Oh, I've been here all these years and people still asking me the same <laughs> silly questions. How did you get to America? Of course, I got on an airplane and I got here. Like, yeah, there, it's such, it's a thing. Like an airplane, we have those in Africa. Come on, guys. <laughs> how did you, uh, wait, the other question is, can I touch your hair? Like, oh, no, do not, like, that's a question you don't ask a person like who looks like me. Like it just, just yeah. Don't don't touch my hair. Do not touch my hair, guys. Right? Like, don't even ask me that question because it's awkward. Like why? Why do you want to touch my hair? Like yeah, come on. Most of the times I have my hair braided like this, so most of the people will be like, "Wow, I really like your hair." Isn't that so tight? How long did it take for them to braid your hair? Like, hey, okay, we're gonna have that conversation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, like, I don't wanna have that conversation. I braided, I had my hair braided. Can we just end there? Hey, Jesus. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Don't ask me how long it took to have my hair braided. Like, it, it, it was braided. You know, yeah. It, it, I could tell you how long it takes, but then you're gonna wonder for each person, but no, just don't ask that question. You know, it looks good. Yeah, thank you. Let's, uh, let's, yeah, let's just leave it at that. Oh, so you're from Africa. So you, do you like see animals, like lions everywhere? Like, you know, elephants everywhere? Like, no, you see them at the zoo when we go to the zoo. Oh, in the wild. Oh, when you go to a safari. Guys, they're called wild animals for a reason. Eish, I beg. <laughs> like, no, don't do such things. We, you know, people have this assumption, like, just because we're from Africa, we pet lions. You know, we have these cute little elephants as pets and... You know, we have cobras everywhere in our house, sliding on our floors. I, I'm exaggerating that, but no, 
know they are wild animals for a reason they have their place no we don't have animals walking around yeah we've seen them i always tell this story like yeah when i go to zimbabwe with when i used to go to zimbabwe with my parents yeah you'd see elephants in the highway and you better stop because you're not crossing until they move that's how dangerous they are they are wild animals <laughs> so no we don't no i don't see animals everywhere yeah i see dogs and cats because those are pets but not these wild animals uh -uh. no uh -uh. Uh -uh. no somebody has actually asked me and it's sad even my kid my youngest one he's so young so little he asked me so mom do they have houses where you come from and and it's the funny thing is not only him has asked me so many people have wondered i wonder if they have houses in africa yes we uh yeah i grew up in one like literally we yeah we do have houses in africa <laughs> my goodness uh, uh yeah we have houses in africa mm -hmm. brick houses maybe built differently than here but we do have brick houses in africa <laughs> oh so do they have cars so did you have you did you ever get in a car when you were in africa so you like your parents did they ever drive a car uh, i hate to break it to you yes we even have mechanics in africa we have like car you know those places where they sell cars you know car dealerships Yes, there is cars in Africa. They may be different from here in America, but yes, we do have cars in America. Mm -hmm. I, I actually I can break it to you. My my dad loved to drive Mercedes Benz. I think that's where I get the idea of wanting a Mercedes Benz. At the end of the day, <sighs> other than it being a super cool car, but yeah, it's we do have cars in Africa. Yes, guys, we have cars in Africa. This is this is the one that really really gets me every time. It's like, oh, you you're from Africa. You speak such good English. Yeah, I know. I can write it too. <laughs> we speak English in Africa. Ah, let me let me let you in on this one, guys. So we do. Africa is actually a continent. It's a continent, it's not a country, and there's no such thing as an African language. Ah uh ah, -uh. no. There's Ndebele, there's Kosa, there's Swahili, all those are different languages in Africa. Okay guys, are you with me? Nah, keep going with me. There's 48 countries in Africa, 48 altogether. And in those 48 countries, each country has different dialects of languages now where i come from zambia we have 72 different dialects of languages 72 and if i like I, you probably know i grew up in lusaka uh if i go to another country um, and, ooh, excuse me another city like copper belt or something like that i can't speak their language if i do it's not very fluent I know I can speak some of the languages in, in Zambia, like Tonga, Lozi, um, Bemba, I can speak a little bit, uh, Nyanja, I grew up speaking, and Nyanja is not really like a, it's a mashup of a lot of other languages, I think. But yeah, there's so many different, different languages. But getting to my point of why I'm telling you all this, in Africa also, there's like, countries were colonized by different um like colonizers uh my part of the country was colonized by the british and so we speak english because you each can each each country like if they're colonized by colonized by the french they speak french as an official language if they're colonized by the portuguese they speak portuguese as an official language so in each country there's an official language for a reason because in each country there's so many different languages that so many people don't know like like in my case i don't know other languages like tonga lozi those languages lunda 
I can't speak those languages. So most of the times I can't understand the languages. But there's an official language which is English. And everybody is, speaks English to some degree. So there's that. I speak English because I grew up speaking English. I mean, it's, I, I don't know why that's such a shock to Americans. Like, hey, come on. Yeah, we do speak English. I grew up speaking it. Anyways, uh, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it, guys. So, yeah. Those are the th silly things I keep experiencing, even if I've been here forever. I experience such questions every now and then. And yeah, I don't take, don't get me wrong, I don't get offended by them, but they just, they're silly. Period. Just silly. So, if you watch this, learn something. Okay? Thank you. Comment in the comments below. Tell me what you think. Alright, love you guys. Bye -bye.